How's it going guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're obviously going to be going spring walleye fishing here in South Dakota. It is a beautiful day out and I think it's going to be a pretty good day to go walleye fishing. But first, today's video sponsor is Docs Assembly Company right here. So if you guys would like to help John and I out on this channel, make sure you guys go down to the link below. Use code MINDAC to save yourself some money. They also have the nice Ducks vest. I am not wearing it right now, but I will be wearing it later today. It's going to be perfect for the spring weather, you know, a vest. It's pretty clutch in the springtime. It's not too cold, not too hot, but you know, it keeps the core nice and warm. So if you guys would like to go pick up yourself a duck's vest, the link is down below. But, but like I said, we are going to be going spring walleye fishing here. I am going to be going solo for like the first couple hours. It is a beautiful day. It's sunny. I think these fish are going to be biting right away. If they're not biting, there's some crows flying around. I think Tanner, Isaac, and I might go pick up Isaac's little duck boat. And then we're going to go head to a spot, see if we can't catch any fish there out of his little duck boat. The other guys have work right now, so i got to wait until they get off work, and then we can head out to the good spot and hopefully catch some fish. So, this is the plan. we got minnows, we got plastics, we got everything we need for walleye fishing right now. So, we're going to pack up the waders, head out, and I'll see you guys at the first spot. All right, we are going to start fishing now. We have made it down here to the first spot. We are starting off with a little jig head. Starting off with a classic jig and minnow. We're just fishing a little river. Little creek, little outflow of a lake, whatever you want to call it. And we're going to be casting opposite side of the shoreline. And we're just going to be bouncing this little sucker off the bottom here. See if we can't get bit by any walleyes. I have caught fish here in the past. I haven't fished it in about two years or so, so it'll be interesting to see if they're back in here. What I've heard is the walleyes were biting in the rivers a week ago, and then it's kind of slowing down now, so I'm thinking they're probably pushing up into the other little creeks and arms of the rivers. So we're going to see if we can't catch anything, and uh, fingers crossed we can run into some fish. All right, it is time to go to the next spot. Now I'm kind of desperate for fish. I just want to see if there's fish in here. I think mostly there's going to be pike, but if we, you know, magically catch a wall and a clickbait, then I would be surprised. And then we will actually be going after walleye. But at the moment, I think we're going to be catching pike here. So I'm going to have the clickbait on and sorry if the audio is a little cheeks it is windy as poop out i'm not sure how deep this gets i think we need a heavier rod first off Well, the boys and I have made it out onto the little duck boat. The Ock and the Tanner are up there. We got a little bobber rod out. The boys are casting a swim bait and a jerk bait. And then we got some live minnows as well. We can throw around, but you know, ice just came off. We're fishing eight feet of water in Ock little duck boat. Um, wader fishing did not sound fun today. So we decided to bring out the little duck boat, but we're gonna see if we can't catch anything. I've already caught a few small little pike, nothing great though. So I am now turning on the camera because I've been catching them like nonstop and we're just casting kind of towards shore, a little bit shallower, sunny day. So I think these fish might be a little bit shallower because it is so nice out. They're kind of soaking up that warm sun. So that is the goal. And we're gonna see if we can't catch anything. Also, we got a nice little south wind here. So we're fishing the north end of the lake in hopes that all the bait fish are pushed up here and these fish are getting the feed on for pre-spawn. So we're gonna see if we can't catch any. Cast it out into that dirty water. Then slow down your casting, your reeling. Oh, that's a nice one. That's a nice pike there. 
Oh, no, don't get the net. All the big guys in there, by the way. You want to reel up the bobber rod? I ain't, it ain't going to out here. Can you reel up the bobber rod? Yes, sir. Thank you. Oh, it's a nice walleye, dude. Oh my it's a nice walleye. Akin. Akin. Get the net. Get the net. It's a nice walleye. It's a nice walleye. He's barely hooked, Dad. Thank you. Oh, oh criminy. Sorry. That was a little cringe there, but hey, I was not expecting a walleye. We were casting up shallow there in like three feet of water, basically. Literally, probably four feet of water. And this guy absolutely munched it. Nice little 18 inch walleye, probably a little smaller than that. 17 maybe on a good day, but hey, we will take that old son. Look at that, there we go, nice fish. Oh, I thought we were. Maybe I'm just tripping. I choked that one so hard. Goddamn guy. This muck it. You guys did it? You jerked it forward and all the, my reaction time was. Too slow? That's tough. Yeah. It's not ideal. That's a nice one. Uh, yeah. Might be a walleye. Uh, How are you feeling? Game be, how are you feeling? I don't know, man. Oh, yeah, it's a nice one. Get the net, get the net, get the net. Oh, Super yes, cool. Poppy. Cool, he ain't big, big, but he's nice. Here's my second fish going on the stringer. Oh, God, yeah. There's some nice fish, boys. Oh, hell yeah. He thumped that too, dude. He thumped it too, right? Yeah, so I've missed how many now? How many have I missed in the last? Because I had one right before that. Did I not? Yeah, I think that one was a big one, probably. Some... Well, I remember I said I picked it off the bottom, so I'm thinking that one was a walleye. Does that one hit it on the. Oh. Yeah. Yes, dude. I can just blindly sit in the hook. That's what I was thinking. Unless all the males are up right now. Just... Oh, he came off, Dad. No, oh, I got something. I don't know. Maybe I still do. I still have a mod. No. <laughs> Did you see that one? <laughs> oh, we were up shallow, that's for damn sure. On? Drop shot? On the drop shot. Go this way, go with it. Feels nice. You want the net? Okay. Get him out, get him out this way. Are you kidding me? Definitely a Walter ends up being a pike. <laughs> oh, okay. Let's go, boys. Fish some fish. <laughs> I wish I could. Rip, it just snapped me off, dude. Yeah, that would have been nice. But, well, you know, I thought the line would be good enough, but no, I guess not. Why didn't I try boat flipping it? Then pink. Then beers. Yeah, you start the world. <laughs> That's my bad, guys. I just fucked you guys. Right. Oh. 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 Oh.
Yeah, because it's a nice one. Nice. Thanks, Poppy. There we go. Nice little guy. I think he might be a little too big to keep for me. He is a thick boy, though. We are going to release him. Got a quick snap story here. Yep. Yeah, that's a nice one. What are you looking at? Another nice one. So it's like actually it's nice. On yeah, we'll go this side. Two puppies. He's an eater. God dang, he's just absolutely mucking that thing, dude. Alright guys, we are now going to do the cooking portion of this video. We got some of the lovely walleye right here. We got them chunked up. The most important part of the walleye, the walleye cheeks, man. These things are delicious. And uh, here we just got some buttermilk. We just got to pour it in this little bag. We're going to try buttermilk this time instead of eggs. I feel like maybe it'll stick better. I don't know. I've never done it before. We're going to find out if buttermilk is the move or not. If you guys have ever used buttermilk before, drop a comment down below and let me know. I'm kind of curious if it is a move or not. We are not going to put the walleye cheeks in here because walleye cheeks are kind of, you know, they're just good on how they are. We're just going to give this a good shake. And we got some original recipe shore lunch. I haven't ate fish in a long time. Um, we've been kind of slacking on the catch and cook, so I'm kind of excited. I haven't had walleye in over a couple months, so it's going to be really good to try again. We also got some rice that we're gonna be cooking some wild rice man it's gonna be good hopefully Hawken how do you think it's gonna taste you really can't go wrong with short lunch and that rice is probably gonna be pretty fire so so for the appetizer obviously we're gonna have the little walleye cheeks it's not you know a very big appetizer at all but kind of a little taste test here but we got a little pan heating up and then we're gonna melt some butter in there add some little lemon juice and we're gonna add a little salt and pepper and then maybe some paprika and that's about it. That's all you gotta do. Sear it for about a minute on each side and she'll be good to go. So that is what we're gonna do with the walleye cheeks and we'll see you guys when those are done cooking. Walleye cheeks are done. Akin's eating a pie. Yeah, it's really good. It's gonna be a weird combo, man, I'm gonna tell you. Yeah, it You wanna I'm try a piece? Yeah, absolutely. You got the big, big boy. Oh, that's weird. That's good though. You've never had it? I thought you've had it Not before. Not like that. Oh. That's like different. It's really good though. It's like a scallion almost. Yeah. Yeah. They're good. It's really good. What'd you mm -hmm. season it with? Salt, pepper, lemon juice. That's, That's really it. good. Yeah, it's good. Mm -hmm. Paige, you want to try it? Well, yeah. I'd go to this guy. Okay. You might not like it. You're not a big fish eater in your first place. You don't have to eat that. I'll eat no, that. No, actually, it has good flavor. Does it? For fish. Oh, I do you like that? I think it's good. For a person that doesn't like to eat fish. This is my turn to try it now. Cheers to you guys. Mmm. So y'all like it. I'm a big fan of it. It's got scallion almost. If you guys like scallions, you'll like walleye cheeks. Oh, the oil is heating up. And then once it gets to a decent temperature, we are going to take the fish that has been sitting in the buttermilk and transfer them into this little shore lunch thing right here. Bam, there we go. Oh, it's fire. It does look pretty dang good to me. You did a good job. Yeah, look at that white meat. Oh, yes, sir. Nice and flaky. Oh, yeah. That looks fire. Put a little salt on there, a little lemon juice. Is it hot? Oh, Bob. Not bad. It's really good. Is it? Really good. Really, really good? 
Obviously, you got that crispy on the outside, and then. How does the batter taste? Is it pretty good? With the buttermilk? Does it taste yeah. any different? I think the buttermilk's better. Bad. I don't know about like taste taste wise, but like with the crispiness of the shawl on the outside, it tastes so good. I accidentally smashed this piece when I was patting them down, but here we go. Cheers. Ah, ah, I was going home for a whole thing. That's gonna be hot. <laughs> oh. You saw? You see that? That's white, white. That's like white, white. Cheers. That is good stuff, Akin. It's fire. We, we need to do more catch and cooks with walleyes, man. Yeah, we do. <laughs> Good stuff. All right, I decided to make a little taco. I haven't had a fish taco in forever. It's not really a taco. It's more like a burrito, I guess. I mean, we got the fish, we got rice, and then salsa. It is time to go in for this amazing looking thing. All right, cheers. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. That is so good. Just all the flavors that that holds, so good. Wow. I'm gonna finish mucking the rest of this, and we will see you guys when I'm done eating it. Well, I forgot to make an outro. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you for watching. Like I said, if you guys wanna go pick up anything from Ducks, the website is down below. I hope you guys enjoyed the Catch and Cook. We haven't done one in a long time, at least I haven't done one in a long time. So I was pretty excited about doing it, and it turned out really well. That being said, I hope you guys have a great day, and we'll catch you guys on the next one.